Hello, good day. In this week's tips and workflow, I'm going to show you how do you go and do the modeling of fan gate. There have been a request on to the creation of fan gates from few of the customers. So thought of showing you the workflow. So I'm going to create an fan gate a component, uh, for a component having a, like an, a circular aperture at the center. So how do you go about that? And first and foremost, I'm going to create a node with a, at the center. Probably if you don't have a node in the center, uh, you want to move the component to the center or you can directly import the component from the CAD, which is having a center uh, where you want to start the modeling. It's but easier. It is not mandatory that it needs to be in the center, but for the convenience, it's better to have in the center. So I created a node in the center, and then I will start creating the surfaces for the modeling of the gate. How do you go about that? I'm first going to create the regions by nodes. So I'm going to select the first node from here and then this and this. So this completes the one surface and say apply. You can see that the surfaces gets applied. Now the what's the property of these surfaces? Uh, by default, it I have selected as a mid plane by default, but you can change it whatever you want. Like I would suggest that you change the properties to the uh, mm, part surface dual domain oh, sorry cold surface dual domain cold gate surface dual domain it's necessary that we are meshing these surfaces in the same in the same uh, study file if you probably try to uh, create a mid plane uh, surface then it won't get mesh and you need to change the study file type form or mesh type in the study form dual domain to mid plane. So let's complete this modeling. I'm sorry, let's get back to the region by nodes. And here I'm going to change by default, which I selected as part surface to the cold gate surface dual domain. Okay, let's keep it as a default. Later on, we are going to change the thicknesses for it. So let's complete this modeling step by step. Uh, so probably you want to have a finer mesh or or coarser mesh. Well, I would recommend a finer mesh over here uh, because this is the start point of your polymer getting into the part. So to capture the better shear and uh, temperature drop, uh, it's better that you have a little finer mesh over here. So we are just about to complete the modeling of this gate. The one thing I forgot to mention you when you're trying to select the nodes to avoid the unwanted node getting selected from the backside, I would recommend that you select the enclosed entity and the facing entities. So this will keep your selection very precise to the what you are selecting and doesn't have to bother about that nodes from the backside are getting selected. So that completes the modeling and then we will go and do the meshing for it. So I keep it as a dual domain and, and the property of this is, is dual cold gate dual domain uh, for the meshing purpose I kept it. So let's get started with the meshing but before I get I select the see now it's not selecting the any of the back maybe I need to check the selections from this and I'm going to create a new layer. Say gate surfaces. And I'm going to add it over here. Okay, so I uncheck these things and I have only gate surface tools to the mesh. Go into the mesh and say generate mesh get a preview of that, how many layers you want to create on this for the thickness assignment. Probably a three or four steps would be fine enough. So I'm going to start the mesh now. Okay, this completes the meshing. 
and then we will go and start assigning the thickness but before we go and start assigning the thickness i like to go ahead and change the properties of these elements from dual domain cold gate mesh to mid plane uh to mid plane uh, cold uh, gate so change the property type it's asking for the region or element i will go ahead and select the element and then i'll change it to the cold gate surface mid plane okay so only in the when you're using a dual domain then only you have option of using a like a mix of mid plane and dual domain and that too for the gate so i'm going to uncheck the gate so surfaces and start assigning the thickness at particularly at the base now if we see the properties uh it has changed to cold surface mid plane and has taken a default properties of 2.5 mm i will go and change it to the say 6 mm because i want the center to be a little thicker and so as i am i i am also want that uh the there is a gradual change in the thickness from like 6 to say like 4.5 or 5 you decide what way you want to change the thickness and particularly when you are touching to the part like in this case uh the part is having a thickness if you go and start put the thickness plot so part is here having a thickness of like 1.5 so probably i would be interested and in like looking at the thickness of like 1 or 1.5 uh, so that it is possible for the trimming so on check that and go back to this and for the last layer i uh, just for the demonstration purpose i'll quickly show you how quickly you can do that uh, the thickness particularly in this area and uh, change the property type oh sorry not property thickness properties and this i'll put it as 1 mm and should now get the thickness yep it's there okay so this way how uh, you can do the modeling and you can also model the uh, sprue like i'll show it over here go into the geometry and take the beams i have selected the form here it's like a cold sprue sorry cold sprue and i'll go and select it as like 3 and 0.5 select it okay and i'll put the start location as uh, this and and location probably i want to put it as 0 0 and i want to put it uh, somewhere like in 65 and already selected the create as a sprue and apply it let's see and number of beams probably i will put it as 10 okay you can see that now it has created the sprue uh, I, i think it has created the reverse one probably i have to change the angle from like 0.5 you can any time go and edit the properties say that for the edit the properties for the entire taper section yes and edit it and instead of that i will say that okay it should be i can see it has now created a quarter taper so in this way i have completed the modeling and this is how it looks like uh when you start the thickness plot it should give a hmm? this way i have assigned it like four starting from 4 5 and tapered it to the one you can rearrange the elements and make it uh, uh suitable for your analysis so this is how the entire system how the building of the modeling system should look like and when you run the analysis uh you should get the better results as well for the fan gate and as well as look at the uh frozen layer of fraction and of the fill so that it shows the proper values over here 
Okay. I hope uh, this uh, will help you to create the modeling of the fan gate and uh, you can start working on it. Thank you for your time.